Hi, my name is April. Um, I'm 31. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I guess I'm going to share with you my gastric bypass journey. Um, my surgery is scheduled for March 25th, 2013, and today is March 15th, so it's 10 days away. Um, um, it was supposed to be the 21st, but it's not in here. It's my son. Really? Yeah, it's not in here. Brat. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a mom to two kids. They have a friend over right now, so I'm sure you can hear them screaming. But, um, yeah, my surgery is supposed to be March 21st. But, um, it got pushed back for four days, which I'm glad it was only four days, um, because the surgeon had a bariatric emergency. He was going to have to go and help another surgeon work on somebody. It was an emergency, so, you know, an, an emergency is more important than me, so there you go. Um, but anyway, I've been on my, my liquid fast vegetable soup diet. For, um, since March 7th, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. on the ninth day of it, um, I haven't weighed myself the last few days because yesterday I had the flu, hence why I look like crap, my hair isn't fixed, I'm just sitting around, it's because I feel pretty crappy still, um, at least it happened now and not the day of my surgery or the day after, but, um, yeah, I went from... 446 pounds down to 430 pounds and that was just on like the first six days of six or seven days of the liquid diet um the day they called me and told me they pushed it back i was at ikea at the time and i did go and uh, eat an ikea dessert my last dessert because they pushed it back so i had a couple more days you know sort of but, um, yeah, since then I haven't cheated. I've been drinking my handy dandy protein shakes four to five a day and, um, eating a lot of vegetable soup. And on my diet, I'm allowed to have soup and fresh veggies, salad. I'm allowed to have pickles. Who doesn't love pickles? Um, all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of hoping that I can share my journey with other people and because I know that when I was thinking about having surgery that um I liked watching other people's videos and seeing how they were getting along and what they were doing and things they needed things they forgot to get you know things like that but um yeah I've gotten all my vitamins I have a little blender to puree foods for afterwards I have protein powders I have the two pound tub of the nectar vanilla bean tort and the uh, chocolate truffle. Chocolate truffle is my favorite. It's kind of like drinking chocolate milk with a funky flavor, but not too bad. It's a lot better than the other ones that I've had. Premier Protein is vanilla is disgusting. Chocolate's tolerable, but um, if you need something ready to go, it's okay, I guess. You can put it in your purse, but when they're not cold, they're not very good. They're disgusting. Um, let's see what else do I have to say? Mm, I'm trying to think. But anyway, I've been thinking about this surgery for many years now. Um, I separated from my ex in 2008. And um, literally it took me from 2008 to now to just... I've been taking care of my kids. My older son has a lot of behavior issues. He just turned 10 and, you know, and he has a lot of problems at school and with organization and things like that. And my younger son, he has autism and cognitive disabilities and multiple disabilities so I've really just been taking care of them and I haven't taken any time to take care of me you know and I'm, I've been in so much you know constant joint pain knees hips you know wrists arms ankles everything but my worst is my back I mean my back is the worst thing ever um my doctor put me on some Balta, and um, that did help. It really did. Um, it took the 
before I would sit and just cry and wish I were dead because the pain was that bad and it takes that excruciating edge off of it. It makes it to where it hurts, but I can handle it. It really hurts, but I can I can handle it without going crazy and wishing I could disappear. But um other than that, you know, I'm on the diet and I'm getting sick of soup. Really sick of soup. I can have like sugar free popsicles, sugar free jello. No, but I'm more of a you have the fake sweet protein shakes, you know, you want something salty. So I haven't really been seeking much sweet stuff. But um you know, I got this ne nectar sample pack and I've tried the kiwi strawberry. It tasted like when I mean, you make jello and you mix the liquid in with the powder and it tastes really gross in your mouth. So I don't really like kiwi strawberry. I tried the roadside lemonade. It's pretty good. The grapefruit. Eh, it's okay. It's better than the kiwi strawberry. But um, yeah, I have the vanilla bean tort, the big tub of that, and the big tub of the chocolate truffle, and it's pretty good. So if you like the chocolate flavor, I would go for that one. Buy it on Amazon. It's cheaper. Or on on bariatricpantry.com. Check both and see which one's cheaper. Um, other than that, you know, I just thought I would talk to you all and share with you all what's going to go on, because I think it kind of helps me. I hope you can hear me. My, my son's over and over, and they're really loud. Um, it helps me kind of get out of my head what I'm worried about, stressed about. Um, I am pretty nervous, because, you know, any surgery is dangerous. You know, and I need to live for my kids. This is why I'm doing it, is... It's for them because I don't care if what I look like. I don't care. I know I'm going to have saggy skin and floppy arms, which I already have anyway. But, um, my son's going to need somebody to take care of him probably the rest of his life. And I, I want to be there as long as I can. And like this, I don't, I don't think I'd be there very long. So, forgive my, my poor looks. I'm, like I said, I'm sick. But, um, yeah, message me if you have any questions. Um, guess that's it. Thanks. Bye.